what is going on guys and welcome to bootstrap tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about a text element in the bootstrap so let's say that i have a case over here where i'm just going to create a paragraph and i'm just going to say that this paragraph uh, has a background color right what i can do in bootstrap i can go over here and create a class like this just create a class and over here i would need to start with bg over here like this and then i would need to specifically say what type of a background i would want and over here i would say primary over here you can see that if i add this how it turns blue and actually there's five of them that we can actually just add it here like a class and this would actually work with a button or later we're going to see in a link or actually when we are working with alert boxes so basically what we're going to be doing we're going to be adding a name of the element that we want so we're here in this this case it's going to be a background however we're just going to add a primary and let me or go over here and i'm going to write this is this paragraph has a primary like this primary background color and if we're just going to start copying this so the first copy over here i'm just going to say warning so i'm just going to change it and you can see how it is turning like yellowish and again this is done already by default these are already preset so you can't just come up with your own name but if you're using these uh, primary and warning classes you're going to be able actually to to achieve this result so again i'm just going to go over here and i'm going to copy this and we're just going to copy this and over here i'm just going to say that this is going to be danger and this should turn red over here so this is going to be danger uh, danger background color then we have a info and then we're going to have success so two more times over here is a info and this is going to be success so you can see the differences and again we're just going to be able to apply them all around our bootstrap as we're going to multiple elements this is just showing you with the background how we can do that but there's going to be multiple other ways how we can actually apply this so the next example what i'm showing you is how we can actually apply to this to the text so if i just copy this let's say over here this is going to be my background and i'm just going to say that i want to copy this and paste it and over here if i just take the change this over here in the background to the text now you can see that right away my text is actually you can see that all this is white and uh, let's just create maybe a line break somewhere here so we can see we're working so over here you can see that this is par paragraph has a primary background color and this is not a background color it's obviously a text color so over here we would write text something like this then you can see that this would be a text so if i go all around these paragraph and just change it to the text you can see that all my font colors are going to change not the background but you can see the class would still work the same way the names would be still the same however obviously uh, this text would imply that i'm actually using them on a text not on a background now let's go further and let's actually have a look what we can do with the class called small so let's say over here i have a heading and here would be hello world and i don't know or here i would create a small class over here like this and within this class i would say i don't know said by johnny something like this so you can see what the small class does it actually the text right away appears lighter and it's going to be 85 percent of a parent element and it would work obviously the same way if we would just copy this and if i would say that this is going to be heading six and you can right away obviously understand that heading two or three or four and five would act the same way as the paragraph it's just i'm not going to go all through of them because it, it doesn't make sense we can just go from one to six and you'll see that actually how again the, even the text is smaller the small element is still going to make this text uh, still smaller now let's move on and actually let's look at a mark uh, element so what i would want to do over here i would create a paragraph and if i would say that this is a paragraph right paragraph and i don't know said john right said and if i would create a mark over here you can see how it's going to style it for me 
that this is going to be John. And you can see how John is actually appearing like yellowish, uh, kind of creates this little box, right? Now, what we can also use is actually a element called code. And the code would work, let's say that if we would be talking about that some type of HTML elements, let's say HTML elements. And if I would write a code right now, like this, and over here, I would say, I don't know, span element. And then next, again, I would create a code. Uh, and I would say that, I don't know, some, um, what other elements, image element like this. So you can see that if I want to add a, some kind of different appearance to the some type of, I mean, it could be JavaScript elements or any kind of elements, we can use this uh, code element. Now, the next thing that I would want to show you is actually how we can use a keyboard. So over here, again, I'm going to create a paragraph and I'm going to say over here that hello world, but let's say that I would want to say some type of a, uh, I don't know, com computer terminology, right? So what I can do over here, I can write key BD like this and within here I'm just gonna say that um, I want control let's say plus and I don't know space right so now you can see how we have a different appearance of this uh, key BD so th that could be used if we're trying to describe some type of uh, thing that we're doing let's say with uh, with computer right now the next thing that I want to show you is actually block quote so over here if I just type a block quote element like this uh, and it just disappeared again. Let me just block quote. And now I have a block quote. And let's say I already, I actually uh, copied this text over here in this paragraph. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to take this paragraph and I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to place it within the block quote like this. So now you can see that this is going to be my paragraph, but you can see that I missed it. So let's just uh, cut this over here and let's place it over here. And now you can see that this is what's happening with the block code, that it lines up all the way to the right. And what we can also do is actually add a footer and it's going to add some little type of styling to it. So here I can say said, said by uh, Johnny over here. So you can see what's happening. I have this block code. It's actually lined up all, all the way over here. And this footer pretty much has a different styling too. So let's say we can add another class and that class would be a block code reverse. So if we write over here, block quote, and here we write reverse. And you can see what happens. Then it actually lines away all the way to the right, not to the left. And the same with the footer here. So those are pretty neat features. And the last thing that I would want to show you is actually abbreviation. Oh no, actually there's two of them. So next is going to be abbreviation and after that is going to be a pre element. So abbreviation would uh, work pretty simple. So let's say that I have a paragraph and I could say, I don't know, some, some type of long word that I'd want to shorten it. And let's say that I would, I, I would say that uh, this is, I don't know, a POTUS account, right? And we know that POTUS stands for President of the United States, right? So what we can do is uh, account. And what we can do over here, we can create a abbreviation element like this. And we can just place this POTUS right over here. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it over here. And here we'll write a title attribute. And obviously in a title attribute, that would be an actual name, right? So here I would say President of of the United United States, something like this, right? So as I'm going to be hovering over, you can see that I have this like, let me just zoom in. Uh, I have this little like question mark over here like this. And obviously there's going to be a tooltip that says President of the United States. Now the last element that I want to show you and this is going to be for sure the last is going to be I'm going to create a div and this is going to be a container over here like this. And within that container, we're actually going to place a pre element. And what pre element does is it actually uh, saves all the spacing and all the, let's say, new lines that we're creating in our text. So over here, I'm just going to create pre over here like this. 
and I'm just going to start typing. Let's say this is this is paragraph done, and let's say I'm just going to buy. You can see then what's happening that it's still keeping my spaces, Johnny, and 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 this is the best paragraph, right? So something stupid and dumb like this. But you can see what's happening. If we would want some type of uh, text over here, we can obviously place it and it would save our spacing and the new lines. Uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.